instruments do you play? Oof, that's a loaded question. Uh, for the Navy, I play the trombone, but I originally started on the trumpet, and so now for the Navy, I play trumpet, tuba, sousaphone, euphonium, trombone, and on occasion, I have to sing as well. So, <laughs> so I get to do quite a quite a lot for the Navy band. So. So before we talk about the Navy man, we'll kind of go into your background. You okay. are from Florida. I was born in Miami, born and raised for about 10 years, and then I moved up to Vero Beach, Florida, and then my grandparents are from Fort Myers, actually, so got to spend a lot of summers over there, so in the beach, so yeah, both sides, so, you know. What high school did you go to? Uh, Fort Pierce Westwood High School, so. My uh, my alumni. So <laughs> I hope they maybe someone will see it. So, but <laughs> what drove you going into the Navy? When did you go into the Navy? Um, I joined basically right out of high school. I didn't go to college. Um, I found a, a love for the trombone and music in general uh, because of my high school band, and I wanted to see the world. And my grandfather served in the Navy during World War II. And uh, I got to basically travel around the world. I've been stationed in Japan for about 12 years. So I've been all across the world and then some. It feels like more to the moon and back, you know. So it's been, it's been a very interesting ride so far. So the great thing about our job is uh, that we have a saying where, where we cannot, <laughs> you can always put a band where you can't put a missile. So, you know, the, sa the saying is, is music is, the the universal language it works everywhere you can take our, a little group a large group anywhere put a product together and just win the heart win the hearts and minds of any country we could go to you know and i've seen it countless times all across southeast asia so we go there and we have put a brass band music and i've never even seen a sousaphone or some large instrument and we play this happy music and you see these kids like you know so you can see the little eyes light up, like, what is going on? What is this Western music, you know? And uh, give them the cowbell and let them play along and all that stuff. And it, it's, it's, it's uh, you know, we're, ambas we're musical ambassadors, and it opens up a lot of doors, not only for the Navy, but for our country. You know, we're ambassadors for the United States of America. We go to these countries, and you know, like I said, it's the first time they've seen sailors or this style of music, and, you know, it's, uh, it's quite an experience. Uh, I'm pretty grateful so far for everything I've been able to do for the Navy. So. I re represent the entire country, of course, but uh, it's, it's definitely a new, unique experience, you know, coming from Miami, of course, and, you know, I don't know. The Southern boys have a little more fun than everyone else, you know what I'm saying? So. <laughs> I'm just saying. What kind of message do you want to give to people back home? Um, kind of, oh. Uh, whether friends, family, Floridians. Yeah, it's just uh, you know, um, well, a lot of my, you know, uh, to my family, I love them. You know, I miss them, and I know uh, I still remember my mother dropping me off at the bus depot and going to boot camp. She's all crying, and I'll see you this summer. Don't worry, I'll see her this summer. I'll be driving down from Norfolk down to Miami and seeing all my folks. So that'll be nice. I'll be in my my, my whites at some point. And uh, if you see me, just say hello and to all my friends, I just love you, miss you. It's, uh, it's hard being away from family, but it's worth it doing this job. So, especially if I could do it. Playing the trombone is not too bad. 